Hester Ford, a Charlotte woman who held the title of America's oldest living person, has passed away. We spoke with her great-granddaughter about her life and the legacy that she now leaves behind. How do you say goodbye to someone who's been here longer than anyone? The family is just feeling a lot of emotions today. Although we're saddened by it, um, you know, we, we take great, great pride in the legacy that she does leave behind. Hester Ford was a piece of living U.S. history. Born in 1904, Theodore Roosevelt was president. The Wright brothers had just taken flight. Segregation was the law of the land. Life expectancy was just 47 years. Hester Ford lived 116. My grandmother has seen so much over the past 116 years. Ford worked on a farm, later as a nanny, eventually received recognition by the mayor of Charlotte. Her family says her life is proof of how far African Americans have come. In times that were troublesome, where there were so many um, injustices taking place, it was her faith that kept her moving. Ford lived through two pandemics and went on to have 12 children, 48 grandchildren, and more than 200 great and great great grandchildren. Many got together for a drive-by birthday celebration last year. Some were by her side when she passed on Saturday afternoon. I think she was, you know, just pleased and, and at peace with her transition, having her family there. Ford may have found a place in the history books as the oldest living person in America, but her greatest legacies are her family. And I hope that with all that my grandmother, great-grandmother was, that I can be for my children. And her faith. She wanted the best for everybody. She wanted people to have the type of faith that she had, um, to be able to believe that anything is possible. And her great-granddaughter told me that it might be a sad day here on earth, but it's a happy day in heaven.